Hey, it's Media Pixel Fangirl, discussing music, TV, film, memes, and other mediums. Hey fellow fans, I am late to the party, but I finally got around to seeing Promising Young Woman. It's a dark comedy revenge thriller starring Carrie Mulligan and written, produced, directed by Emerald Fennell. It's her first feature film as a director. I heard a lot of buzz about it, so I went into it really excited. While I can see why it's had a polarizing reception, I really enjoyed the film. I think any art that makes me feel something has achieved its goal. After I watched the movie, I wanted to hear what other people had to say about it, and I came across this awesome video from Filmology, and he went into analyzing the movie from the perspective of color. And when I started watching that, I was really hoping he'd address one thing, and he didn't. And that is what we're going to talk about today. Just want to provide a big spoiler alert. We're going to get into what happens in the movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, highly recommend you jump off this video and go watch it now. One of the first things that stood out to me about this movie is the fingernail colors on our protagonist Cassie. In one of the first scenes where we see her writing these men's names and ticking marks, <laughs> we see that she's got like this colorful nail. Every nail is painted a different color. It was present throughout the whole movie. A lot of articles talking about this movie bring up her manicure. how it's a colorful one, how it's an eccentric one. I haven't seen much past that. I came across an article from Elle.com. It's called How Costumes and Makeup Shape Perception and Promising Young Woman. Super awesome read, highly recommend it, but I'm just gonna go through the parts of this article that are most relevant to my question. Elle.com spoke to costume designer Nancy Steiner and makeup department head Angie Wells about creating distinctive looks to support Fennel's vision. The makeup itself and these disguises were their own character, Wells says. Cassie's using it in a way that's very controlled. The Candy Colored Manny. Regardless the time of day or activity, Cassie is always wearing the same eye-catching manicure. This was a direct request from the director. Emerald was very specific with the nail look she wanted, recalls Wells and she wanted that to carry throughout. A nurse's disguise. For Wells, rather than match the crimson, hard to walk in stilettos, she used the pastel wig and candy nails as inspiration. Red is always the color if you think of femme fatale, she says of Cassie's edgy, sexy lipstick. I wanted pink because red is so expected. Right off the bat reading this, I feel somewhat vindicated. <laughs> the nail decision, is just so specific. It seems like nothing in this movie is by chance. The devil's in the details. It was meticulous. So this manicure seemed super intentional and turns out was a direct request from our director who also wrote the screenplay. And in doing more research, I found that for the promotional push of this movie, there was a manicure set with each nail polish color sent out. So even more highlighting this thing of the manicure and we haven't really dove in yet. Like, what does that mean? And I'm going to give my two cents on that, but I'd really love to hear what other people also think after watching this movie. Going off of the analysis that Filmology has around color. Before I can get into the mise-en-scene as a whole, we have to begin with Cassie's looks in the film. There appears to be two facades that she creates, one during the day and one in the night. Costume designer Nancy Steiner drew inspiration for Cassie's day looks, donning her in pastels to give off the illusion of a sweet all-American girl whom one would not expect to be hiding such demons. By night, Cassie goes for a more neutral color palette usually seen in black and white with heavier makeup. This look is basically the polar opposite of her persona during the day. Cassie is constantly pulling the charade and disguising herself around others. This is a scene where we first see the motif of the two dominant colors of the film, pink and blue. And to add to that, Cassie is wearing pink and Ryan is wearing blue. And we all know that those colors are commonly associated with their respective genders. And this movie definitely challenges the conventions of gender and its perceptions. 
One significant association I noticed with the color blue was how most of the people of Cassie's past or most of the people who have done Cassie wrong are either wearing blue or surrounded by blue. It's really interesting to see that our nail color is variations of blue. So like, I think a teal sea foam, debate me, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Yellow, peach, and pink. So it's really those two colors and the transition between. So the nails are such a bold manicure for this character. She's a chameleon and she's living this double life and she's trying to not stand out but is wearing a manicure that inherently stands out all the time. Where I really see the craft in this choice is that it seems to be directly foreshadowing the climax of this film. I think the nails foreshadow to the entire time is the wig. We still see the wig is pink, blue, yellow, purple. We also get hints of this when she's in that scene with McLovin and she's got like the clip-ins in the hair that's the same blue, pink, and then she's blonde. We have that full color range that we see in her nails. I think it's reflective of like all that she is, so that promising young woman she once was, and also this double life that's like kind of crazy, and bringing those two together, and those two things always being present in the film and with her. When I think about it as a Dexter fan, I also immediately think this woman's gonna be a victim uh, to a man's crime. Police, I, I need to talk to you. I just need to know why you paint your nails the way you do. He started getting all rough with me until he saw this. Then what? Then he changed his tune. Got all turned on, told me to take my fake hand off. He started doing some kinky, weird stuff, like he was worshiping it. To cap it off, he takes all my nail polish and paints each nail a different color. I like this, so I kept doing it. The ice truck killer did this to his victims. It was a staple of Dexter and Brian Moser's mom, and that's kind of where the killer got his instinct to paint his victims' nails like this. So immediately, it's something that stuck out to me. I'm really curious to hear if Fennel ever comments on this and if she's a Dexter fan and that's maybe the heart of what inspired this ever-present manicure choice. I just think it's the little details like that in a film that really make it memorable and make a character stand out in even the smallest things. Not a lot that I wanted to share, mostly just wanted to put that out into the world and hear what other people had to say about this very conscious decision that was made. Another thing to highlight that was cool about wardrobe and makeup for this movie, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye. And there you go. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for following. I love you. Bye.